National Affairs Editor Armin Georgian. Armin, um, it seems that uh, Saif al-Islam Gaddafi is wanted by the International Criminal Court, so how can he run for an election? He's Yeah, and he's not just wanted by the ICC. A court in Tripoli condemned him to death in absentia in 2015 uh, for his role in the suppression of the revolt against Saif al-Islam's late father, Muammar Gaddafi, in 2011. So... Uh, we're going to have to wait and see what the Election Commission says uh, in the light of that uh, ruling by the Tripoli court in 2015. Uh, the Election Commission has to say, I believe it's by November the 23rd, whether it has accepted Saif al-Islam Gaddafi's candidature or not. But one has to wonder, I think, um, Monty, how would he even campaign uh you can see him there with the 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 uh, sort of traditional garb and, and and the headdress. He, um, you know, there are people in Libya who want him dead, quite frankly, uh, because of uh, his, you know, his his role in 2011, as I said, and also the fact that he's shown no regrets about uh, his father's former regime. In an interview with the New York Times uh, this summer, he said it's time to go back to the past. So he's not even hiding the fact that he wants to go back to the era of Muammar al-Qaddafi. So one would have to wonder how how does that even work? I mean, in practical terms, one would think he wouldn't even be able to go into Tripoli at this point, and his safety would be a huge concern if he was to start traveling freely around the country. But anyway, Let's not get ahead of ourselves and wait for the 23rd of November to see what the uh, Election Commission says about this candidacy of his. What's the political context here? What effect would his candidacy have, have on the election? Well, uh, the most obvious challenge that Saif al-Islam Gaddafi's standing would have, I think, is on Khalifa Haftar, the strongman of uh, eastern Libya. Uh, because remember, Khalifa Haftar has, uh, he allied himself from 2014 with former elements of the Gaddafi regime, some uh, security and, and uh, some militia chiefs uh, joined, uh, joined Haftar. And so if, and I stress if, Saif al-Islam manages to make this comeback that he's trying to make, then that would be a challenge for Khalifa Haftar to try and keep his coalition together. Uh, but I suppose the bigger picture here is that you have already a lot of turmoil around uh, this planned election on December the 24th, a presidential and a parliamentary election, at least nine potential candidates. But the rival political institutions in uh, Libya are squabbling about uh, the legal basis of the elections and the rules that should govern these different candidacies. Uh, so... The, the, the whole run-up has been very fraught, as you would expect, in a country that has been so deeply divided, uh, at least since uh, that revolt that toppled Muammar Gaddafi 10 years ago. Yeah, a lot of expectations riding on that election on December 24th. Okay, thanks a lot, International Affairs Editor Armin Georgian. Thank thanks you. a lot. After more